Hey everybody, I'm Nikki Marshall with the 18, and let's take a look at four players from Group F that you'll want to watch this summer in France. For all the memories and joy created by the U.S. women's national team back in 2015, one player was left with a bittersweet feeling, Crystal Dunn, who was infamously the final player cut from the roster prior to the World Cup. She admits to being in a low place after being informed of Jill Ellis' decision, but she immediately bounced back and captured the NWSL's MVP award later that year while scoring a league-leading 15 goals. Last season, she was the creative force on the league's greatest ever team. She notched eight goals and seven assists from the attacking midfield position for the North Carolina Courage, which tells you everything about Dunn's versatility, because with the U.S., she's the side's starting left back. But she's a left back with 24 international goals to her name, which is more than the majority of strikers you'll see in France. All good things typically start with Dunn wreaking havoc from the left side. And if there's any chance of a U.S. goal celebration going viral, it'll be because of her widely praised dance steps. Thailand made its World Cup debut in 2015, and the nation scored three goals at the event, all coming against the Ivory Coast. Two of those were scored by attacker Oratai Srimani, who had to be substituted in the 73rd minute of that match. The reason? Srimani made her way onto the national team as a standout futsal player in Thailand. And she said after the game that the football pitch is much bigger than in futsal, and you need so much more energy. More recently, she scored three goals at the 2018 AFF Women's Championship, helping Thailand to a fourth title at the competition. Srimani, who will turn 31 on June 12, approaches France as one of the team's standout veterans. One of the greatest stories in football in 2018 was Chile qualifying for its first ever Women's World Cup after captivating the nation while hosting the 2018 Copa America Femenina. Chile finished runners-up to earn a direct qualification to France. The hero for Chile was 25-year-old attacker Yanera Edo, who led her side with three goals, including a brace against Peru. She's fearless on the pitch, and her desire to make it to the top has led her to play for Colo Colo in Chile, the Washington Spirit in America, and currently Valencia in Spain. Edo is one of the nine players on the team's current squad that play in Spain. Edo will be particularly motivated to stick it to the U.S. She was a key player on the Spirit Reserves team that won the USLW League Championship in 2015, but she wasn't rewarded much playing time in the NWSL, a circumstance which drove her to move to the Iberian Peninsula. The name should sound familiar to U.S. fans. It was Stina Blaxenius, then just 20 years old, who scored the goal that helped Sweden dump the U.S. women's national team out of the 2016 Olympics, en route to a remarkable silver medal at those games. She also scored in the gold medal match against Germany. Now age 23, Blaxenius has enjoyed successful spells with both Ling Champing FC in her native country and Montpellier in France. She's yet to match the heights she reached at the youth level where she scored 53 goals in 50 matches for the U17, U19, and U20 teams. But she represents the future of the Blue Yellows attack, and this World Cup is another chance to both announce her talent on the world stage and break the hearts of Americans everywhere. That's it for Group F, and don't forget to check the18.com for all things Women's World Cup this summer.